What up, y'all? So I just wanted to kind of show y'all a trim brisket and what kind of I'm aiming for. Uh, every situation is different, but when it comes to cooking for other people, kind of want to bring the same results every time. Um, these are things that I learned. It's not something I came up with. So, um, you know, the idea is basically to get the smoke to penetrate the brisket, um, like aerodynamically, right? So you don't want the smoke to come and then go up this big old point and come back down, or you don't want any areas where there's like a point. You want everything to be just like this, rounded off. So if you come over here, love, see, if you just look around the brisket, you notice that everything is it's not really pointy or anything like that. And so that's what I'm aiming for, the amount of fat that I'm aiming for. So if I pick it up like this, look at it from this angle, you know, there's a good amount of fat. Um, right here is a good amount of fat you know, compared to the meat ratio. I could trim it a little bit more, but I like to have, you know, a good quarter inch, a little bit more whenever uh, I trim that, the, the lean part, because you want it to be uh, moist as well. You want it, you don't want it to be all dry and have no fat on it. And so that's what I'm aiming for on the brisket. And so another thing um, that people might not know, um, whenever you're slicing your brisket, right? Let's just, um, I'm gonna smoke it fat side up. Whenever it's done, I take it off, all right? So most likely this is gonna be the fattier end, right? This is gonna have more of that, that fat, right? So one of your best pieces of your brisket is gonna come from, from this side, right? Right here is gonna be like your burnt ends. And I didn't know that when I started, you know, cooking, uh, smoking briskets until, you know, I saw more videos um, that helped me with that. So, you know, you usually, <clears throat> slice your brisket all the way to about maybe right here. I've seen people slice it to about right here and then they got little uh, point slices like that and they're small, but I like to do it right about here so you get a good length for your other cut. And so um, when you cut it right about here, then that first slice, cut it kind of thick and that's gonna be where your burn ends are. You can also have it around here, just other little pieces, chop them up and make them look like burn ends. And then your first slice right here, you can usually use that slice, cut it like, like that. And that can be considered another like, you know, burn end. But I just kind of wanted to show y'all that just so y'all can see how the trim brisket is. And you can always do this three days before you cook if you want to and have them in like a container like this already trimmed so the day when you smoke the briskets you don't have to trim the same day and season them and be all tired out you already have that prepared okay so um i just wanted to show y'all that carry on all right y'all so basically what i'm doing is i'm about to season the brisket i want to show you how i kind of do it i don't do it like this all the time but if i uh pre-trim them days before i'm gonna make sure i put a binder so the binder just so it's not too thick I put a little bit of mustard and a little bit of pickle juice. You can put a little bit of hot sauce, whatever, just so it's not thick. And then come over here, Luke. Just see how I put, I spread it around pretty good, but it's not covered in mustard and it's, it looks like it looks gold kind of. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna season the side. So if you were doing this fat side up smoking, you're gonna start off on this side. If you're gonna do it uh, fat side down, you're gonna start off on the fat side. All right, so first <clears throat> I'm gonna start off you can mix it all together, but I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna start off with the sides. Let me show you how to do it real quick. All right, put the kosher salt side. All right, cause it's nice to get on the sides. All right. Then, like this, you wanna get up pretty high. Um, it, it gets an even coat pretty good. All right, so after that, I'm gonna get my coarse pepper, go around the sides. Okay. Like I said, you can mix it together if you want all of these, uh, or you can do it separate. I like to do it separate. I feel like it gets on better, but that's just me. Everyone's different. All right, so the pepper, Put it on there. I like more pepper on it. So 
Believe me, this big chunk of meat can take it too. All right, so we got the pepper. And then you can add whatever um, else you want. Some people use granulated garlic, uh, stuff like that. This time I'm gonna use uh, Lowry's. Like, you don't have to, it's only what you wanna use. Um, so this is what I'm using this time. Next time I might use a different recipe. You know, I want to do the granulated garlic next time or the coarse, I forgot, something like that. The thicker one. All right, add this. All right, and then go over. All right, and that's going to be on the meat side. All right, and then I'm gonna do the other side, but that just kind of shows you how I do it. And um, I just try to make it as pretty as possible, as even as possible, um, because the little things matter the most. All right, y'all. So I have the briskets in the smoker and what I'll do is I'll slowly just rotate them around here to here to here to here to here. Uh, I got my blocking logs so they don't get burnt um, because it's closer to the fire. I don't want too much direct heat. Got my water pan and then all I'm going to do is maintain the fire now. So I'll let these bad boys sit maybe four hours and then take a look after that so that was just a quick video just showing y'all the importance of trimming the importance of seasoning and basically throughout the whole brisket process it's all important um that's basically what i'm trying to tell everyone and that's you know the people that really take this serious um the same thing you know it's every step is important from the beginning to the end uh it's always something um you want to babysit and you want to maintain and take care because you're spending so much time cooking it you want to make sure you know you're able to eat eat slice and not waste as much and with the trimmings you can make burgers you can save it do a lot of different stuff you know so it's up to you but thank you all for uh joining in and i just wanted to show this video to just basically um, just give a little tips, you know, on um, this uh, seasoning and trimming.